Okay, number 11 is gonna be a word problem and it has to do with the law of cosines. Uh, a diagram is given to, let me read off of the sample test. It says airport B is 300 miles from airport A and it's at a bearing of north 50 degrees east. So this is all labeled for you. So this kind of problem, uh, you'll have some kind of picture that would be given for this type of problem. So it's 300 uh, miles there, 50 degrees uh, is on the outside of the triangle because it's a bearing. So it says a pilot that's trying to fly from A to B mistakenly flies east for 100 miles, it says. So we're gonna put 100 miles down there. Then the pilot corrects the air and then flies uh, on the right bearing uh, to B. So uh, the question asked, at that point when he realizes the mistake, how far is he from the destination point? So it's asking for this side here, which would be lowercase a uh, based on this. Uh, so this type of uh, information here, uh, in order to solve this, you have to know what angle is inside the triangle first. So inside, we know that this dotted line makes a right angle uh, to this here. And so we, in order to find the angle inside, we have to subtract that from 90 degrees. So we're gonna do 90 minus 50, and that's gonna give us 40 degrees inside. So you have to know a little bit something about bearings. Again, bearings are always measured from the north or south. So that's outside the triangle. You want the one inside the triangle before you set anything up. So now that we have everything set, now we have to choose the correct law of cosines formula. There's three different versions of that. One starts with A squared, B squared, or C squared. And you wanna pick the one that relates to the letters that you have in the problem itself, how the triangle is labeled. In this case, the way it's all labeled, we wanna solve for lowercase a, which means that we wanna use this version of the law of cosines. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus BC cosine a. So we all, whatever letter is used on the left-hand side, the other two are inside here, and you have the same two with the minus two, and then you have a cosine of capital letter A, that's always the capital letter of whatever letter you have out front here. So this is the right version of the formula that we wanna use, and solving for this will allow us to get A, and that's the answer to this particular question. Let's put the information in that we are given. So, Lowercase b is opposite capital letter B, and so if you go across the triangle from there, that's gonna be 100, so 100 squared. Next is c squared. c is gonna be 300, since it's opposite the angle c, so 300 squared, minus two times 100 times 300, and then we have cosine a afterwards. So this is gonna be setting it up, plugging in all the, the numbers from the formula. And the A value that we're gonna use here, we can put that in as well. So the A value is going to be 40 in this case, not 50. You wanna put 40 in here. So 40 is gotta be the angle inside the triangle. So we put in a 40. Now just a matter of, of putting all this into your calculator. So most calculators, you should be able to just type this all out at once. Uh, and so here's what you should get. So if you put 100 squared plus 300 squared, put all this in, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, uh, then you should get this, 54037.33, oh, uh, some more decimals. This is not the answer though, because this is the answer for A squared. So if you put all that stuff in the calculator, this is only A squared, you wanna solve for A by taking the square root. So you wanna hit the square root button once you have that one complete. And when you do, you're gonna get 232.46 miles. Okay, and that would be how far it is from uh, C to B. So again, uh, don't forget to do this important step here. This is the most common mistake I see people making is forgetting to take the square root. But if you think about it, the answer should make sense with the other numbers you have here. And so if you have 100 and 300, it wouldn't make sense that one side is 54,000. So if you get something that's real big like that, then chances are you probably haven't taken the square root yet. So your answer is 232.46.